guys, welcome back to the creation of the Oasis at Modern Design Aquascaping. We are turning my regular old boring mundane vinyl siding house into one of the most amazing aquatic experiences you are ever going to get to see. I appreciate you guys hanging out with the Adams family. In the next three episodes, you're going to see a lot of stuff going on. The guys are putting in the wetland filter where you're going to see a test run on the color changing lights. You're going to see a test run on the fountain. I myself, I need to go on a walkabout so that I don't make all of my people crazy. I take off on a journey. I'm going to visit several of my friends that have these recreation ponds at their homes so that I can remind myself in here why I am doing this madness at my own house. I appreciate you guys joining us on our journey. Stay tuned and enjoy the next three episodes of the creation of the Oasis at Modern Design. This is like from before I was born even, so <laughs> I'm not that old, Lindsay. Are you sure? <laughs> I'm pretty sure. that but how what's it supposed to be at? 11 foot that's right mm -hmm. okay my shoulder you're making me nervous i feel like i need to stop what i'm doing and figure out what i just tasked you with you're over here talking smack about me you've had a month to get the damn electrician out here and now you're over here making fun of me because i can't tell you who not to use i could have walked to each and every location by now and individually met introduced <laughs> and interviewed every electrician in knoxville why don't you text me who you've called, who you haven't called, who you're talking to about the gas. There's only one guy that I won't use. Jerry's guy is the guy that I would use for the electrical if he can get to it. He ain't cheap, but he's good. And Is there any he, deadline on when they need to get out? Yeah, right now. That's why I asked two weeks ago to get somebody lined up to come out here because I knew right about now we'd be needing some power. So yeah, now is when I need it done. So while you're over there giving me a hard time. His fault. Blame it on Guy. He wants the drama. <laughs> this whole thing's mismeasured and you know whose fault that's gonna be too. The guy who's handling the electrician. I just work here. I just try. That's all I do. I try. I thought it was a battery board. Is it? <laughs> Now, while I'm in the middle of this complicated mathematical equation, should we have three or four more Q&A sessions? What? It's been a very stressful day. All of this family baloney going on at my house makes it so much more difficult to build amazing, awesome things. Speaking of, my string has arrived. Where did you get my string? I got to pick up that pallet because it looks like a trash pallet. It's literally 100 feet up the pallet. That's where you put the string when you're done with it. In the yard, hiding under a pallet. Of course. Looks like it got rid of I think I'll just keep this with me. I've been looking for this for two hours. <laughs> and I just now don't need it anymore. <laughs> because Aaron fixed it with a fishing pole. <laughs>
Yeah, after a couple months of mayhem and all of the madness, getting ready for Colorado and then several weeks working in Colorado and then back for weeks and then gone for weeks and it's just been mounting madness in my skull. And it just gets to the point where I am so cranky and cantankerous that I can't even stand to be around myself and it's time to go. So I just walked around with the crew this morning. Everybody's got everything under control and I'm gonna drive east. So I'll let you all know when I get back. They're gonna do something amazing out here. I'm gonna go clear this melon of mine so that I can get back home and get back to doing crazy things and having a good time because stress is good for no one. Even if you're just a regular old pond building guy, you can't do what you gotta do when your head's all screwed up. So I'm going to get my head right. You guys stay tuned. So interesting series of events this morning. Dad has, for some ungodly reason, passed the torch off to me. So he's going, he's doing his own thing for the rest of the week, and I'm left here with all these awesome guys to get whatever we want done, pretty much. And that's kind of up to us to dictate what we want to get done, where we want to go. And it's made it very interesting because we were going back to a different project today to get that started, and now we're not. So. Yeah, I gotta get on the horn with them. I gotta cancel boulder deliveries, move dirt deliveries. Um, fortunately, we didn't take our machines out there yesterday. I guess that was a great plan. Uh, <laughs> knowing that uh, we were gonna be here today for the first half because we wouldn't have rocks. So we got boulders coming in this morning. We're just gonna shift gears. We're gonna finish the wetland up there ideally. We've got like three days left of this week. Get everything detailed out on these waterfalls and hopefully have them temporarily running in the meantime until round two of this journey. So um, yeah. That being said, the truck isn't gonna unload itself. So <laughs> you're gonna go unload that. without a broom.
left the team behind. The first thing I did yesterday was I decided it'd be a great idea for me to go visit a couple of my grandkids because I needed to remind myself why I'm doing what I'm doing. And it's just been all work and no play. I had to go see the kids and remind myself, John, this is why you're doing what you're doing. This is why you're building the splash pad. This is why you're building the oasis and the watering hole. All of the things that I'm creating are for these kids. I needed to see them. Next thing I decided was I need to go see some friends who are living this lifestyle. Some of my buddies who have ponds and water features at their house. I ended up uh, with Dave Bloxham and uh, his gal Chrissy that runs the office today and had some heartfelt conversations with them and I'm over at Dave's house right now. And I wanna share his water feature with you because I knew that I would come out here and get to spend a few minutes and experience what he's done at his home and it would again remind me why I'm doing the madness that I'm doing. I gotta go home with a lighter heart, man, this heavy heart thing, this stress thing, it's gotta go. My team's at home kicking butt, check this out. Look at Dave's water feature. I think I'm on track here. 